An MP from the current Perakatan National Government can be appointed Prime Minister to replace Mahiuddin Yassin, provided his successor wins a confidence vote in the Diwan Rakiat, a lawyer said. Bastian Pius Vendagen said Mahiuddin could convene a session as soon as possible to allow the 220 MPs to vote to determine whether that candidate enjoyed majority support. As required under that article, he said Mahiuddin has to tender his resignation if the king declines his advice to dissolve the Diwan Rakiat for fresh polls. Another way, he said, was for Mahiuddin to tender his resignation to the king and propose a candidate as his successor. He said the king would still be guided by Article 43 in that he can appoint an MP, who in his judgment, is likely to command the confidence of the elected representatives. The new Prime Minister could then go to Parliament to test his confidence among the MPs. Vendagen said this in response to comments by a political analyst, University Technologi Maras Iskander Hassan Tan Abdullah, on how the PN government can still retain its grip on Putrajaya. Iskander had said that PN can regain the support of UMNO and its president, Ahmed Zahid Hamidi, if Mahiuddin is replaced. The analyst said this move could help resolve the political crisis in the country in the midst of managing the COVID-19 and economic crises. Vendagen said the opposition may have the numbers to defeat a no-confidence vote or confidence motion promoted by PN, but doubted they could cobble up at least 111 MPs to propose their PM candidate. Lawyer Mohammad Rafiq Rashid Ali said the Prime Minister's deputy from UMNO had succeeded him automatically until 2009 as the party was then a dominant force in the Barrison National Coalition. Rafiq said the king could rely on extraneous methods, a legal principle established in the Parak case, to appoint a prime minister in these extraordinary circumstances. The federal court in 2010 ruled that the Sultan of Parak was right to take such a step to sack Muhammad Nazar Jamaluddin as Mentari Basar and appoint Barrison National Zambri Abdul Qadir as the new Mentari Basar. This decision was made after the ruler had interviewed all 59 assemblymen and received statutory declarations to conclude that Nazar no longer enjoyed the support of the majority to remain as Mentari Basar. The court had also observed that Nazar had urged the state assembly to be dissolved as he had admitted to the ruler that he had lost the confidence of the majority. Rafiq said there was evidence to suggest that Mahiuddin had lost the majority as a group of MPs from UMNO had declared that they had withdrawn support for the Prime Minister and two ministers from that party had also resigned. Mm -hmm. 